there, I'm Emily Wright, and I wrote the book A Modern Cellist's Manual. And I thought that it would be interesting or useful for people who have either bought my book or were thinking about buying it to just do quick little synopses of the chapters. So this is the first chapter called Body Concept and Positioning. Um, the first thing I say is that I think of the positioning on the cello to be like a series of curves on a square frame. So, in general, there is a kind of right angle feeling here. Not a lot of this. Sometimes we actually get into that because people tell us to sit straight up and there should be somewhere comfortably in between. Now, I actually sit on one of these wedges. It's not that I don't have enough butt padding. I have plenty. But it does all kinds of good things for the physiology, which I'll talk about some other time. But it also helps kind of encourage a relaxed right angle. Uh, the left hand, I was saying that it should be kind of your, your left hand is formed kind of like when you just grab the neck of your cello really loosely. This is what I mean. Because you could technically grab it like this. And I guess you could grab it like this. We're looking for about here. And then it just kind of opens up like this. Because you want a kind of flat wrist. I've actually put rulers here, or popsicle sticks, tongue depressors, on either side. It's really easy to get into that. Not as common, but you can get into that as well. Thumb should be behind two. Leonard Rose talked about tripoding the fingers. Sometimes my thumb is maybe actually closer to three. Maybe it's between one and two sometimes. Baseline, start between two, uh, between like say two and three. All right. The right hand, this is where things get sticky. It's gonna get very contentious. There are many ways to hold the bow, but I think that this way is a good starting place at the very least. Nice and loose. Take a look at that. You notice that I'm tilted this direction. Violin is more like this. Cello is definitely more into your hand, into the palm of the hand. And then underneath you can see that my thumb is definitely curved and really, really loose. But this is something that's not going to get summed up easily in a 30 second explanation. But I just wanted to show you this is kind of what it looks like. And then the test for your bow grip. First, you can actually do it holding it with the left hand. You can tap with first, these middle two, and then this one. This is something that Mimi's Wag taught me. And then, let's see if that can go down. Then doing it on the string. So like this. One, two, and then this pinky. And if any of them causes a crisis, you know that you're holding the bow too tightly and that one finger is doing too much of the work. It should be spread among all four fingers technically five, I guess, in the thumb, uh, equally. So that's a kind of little mini synopsis of what I try to cover in the first chapter. Lots of pictures, lots of explanation, and I also love what my readers send me emails, and uh, we can just kind of get into it, and I can address your issues more specifically. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope this helped. Bye.